Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. In this opportunity, we're going to have a very quick video um, regarding the setup of the UDM Pro. The UDM Pro, the all-in-one from Unify, this is the device that you're going to want to go and get from the store if you want to have video surveillance, biometrics and access control, and network management. Of course, network management is the, the essence of the UDM Pro. Just a simple reminder, the UDM Pro does not provide power over Ethernet. So if you want to make your setup of cameras and access points, you're going to need to get the power over Ethernet switches in order for these devices to get powered. Okay, so let's do it. Let's start uh, configuring the device. The first thing you're going to want to do is visit uh, Internet. You're going to see that basically what it does out of the box is you're going to have Internet connection with your UDM. If you go to the default address that you get, which is the 0.1, you are not going to be able to access directly if your router has the same address. So it automatically like uh, sorts out that, uh, that inconvenient. So let's uh, enter to the UDM, in this case is the .1.1 uh, address, and we're going to name our device, something that is very important in order, in order for you to be organized in case that you get more devices to be set up. Um, remember that if you do not have an account, you can create one very quickly. It is very important because you're going to be linked through the web and the cloud services. This one is the schedule that is going to be used in order to update the device. And the auto, the auto optimize of the network is something that I do not recommend for you to do. But in this case, we're going to let it on as Unify is very confident it works very well. The internet is going to be tested in for for speed, which is something that is interesting because it continuously mm, monitors your internet connectivity and it's going to tell you if you have any troubles with it or if your um, network is running smoothly. So you're going just to leave these two div uh, these two values over here, which are the ones that are proposed by the device, and this one is like the summary of the configuration you just did. Right now it is setting up the device and normally at this point you would get an update from, from the cloud uh, and the device would update like you can see here in this image. Um, but in this case we had already uh, updated it through another uh, setup procedure. So we're just going to continue over here and we're going to go to the local portal where you are going to be able to see the applications that are running right now on the device and the ones that you can install. Right here we're going to install the protect and the access uh, applications in order to, for you to have this device completely ready for anything you want. So in this case we have only network and we're going to access it right here and let's... Uh, okay, one thing, very important, do not use other browser different than Chrome, not even Firefox which Ubiquity, of course, um, recommends, recommends Firefox and Chrome. But our experience is that uh, it's not very smooth. Uh, the, sh the, the, the menus and the interface does not load as well as with Google Chrome. Let's leave right here in settings, the new settings, um, the new settings active. Try new settings. I recommend for you to have it uh, activated. So let's just go over here. Let's copy this address and let's go to Google Chrome. Once we are in Google Chrome, we just log into the device, advanced configuration, access the not secure site, we authenticate ourselves, and we continue right here where we left at in the other browser. Let's go to the applications and install the one that was missing, access. Remember that uh, Unify has not released yet um, all the devices, uh, well, at the time we are making this video the devices regarding Protect. Uh, let's go to the network, let's go to settings, and the only thing that was left for us to do, two things, one of them, go to networks, uh, sorry, internet security, let's go to threat management, and right here we're going to activate threat management, which be careful, because it limits the performance and the throughput of the whole device to 3.5 gigabits per second. This is something that Unify does not specify if that also affects the 4K videos from our IP cameras. Deep packet inspection is already installed and running, so we just leave it as it is, uh, which is going to secure our network from intruders. And device authentication is something that I always recommend. Change here the username and password 
because that is something that you are going to need at any given time to access your device through a secure shell connection. Okay, guys, and that's all. Very, something very simple, a very simple process. I recommend for you to watch our other, our other videos regarding the setup of this device and more detailed configuration. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, we only have it available in Spanish. Uh, you can practice your Spanish over there as I am practicing my English right now. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I hope it was very helpful and see you next time.